So, for having me. Yeah, Kim Storm Ritter All back right. in the kitchen. We did some squash earlier. Now we're going we to we smash did, this. We did the side dishes. Now we're going to do the main dish. All right. Put it all together for a busy family dinner. It looks so, like it's going to work. Um, I'm obsessed with stuffing meatloaf. That lately. is a beautiful thing. Yeah, Look at that like stuffed meatloaf. You just take the classic meatloaf and you stuff it with whatever you like. Looks so like cake to me. It, and it tastes so good. Oh, wow. So this one here is actually a cheesy potato and I added a little horseradish stuffed meatloaf. So it's your classic meatloaf. You stuff it with the potato. You make the potatoes first. Mm -hmm. Stuff it bake it, and you have meal in one pan. But who thought to add a little horseradish for a little zing to I it, did. too? Yes, you <laughs> did. Who would have thought? I should have got the book to find I out did. who would have thought no, that. No, I don't think that's in the book, actually. Oh, I just made it up yesterday. That's okay. Um, if we creative types like to do that. Yes, I have a lecture. That's nice. But I'm going to show you how to make an Italian stuffed meatloaf, which mm -hmm. is one of the things I first started out with when I started with the stuffed meatloafs. I'm ready. Um, but this is it. You take two pounds of meat, you divide it. After you add your onions, your breadcrumbs, your egg, all the stuff that you would this put seems in like your meatloaf. standard meatloaf. Yeah, okay. standard meatloaf ingredients. I have a couple secret ingredients you can find in my book. Everyone shows up here with secrets. Oh, you can find the secrets in your book? Oh, yeah. Oh, I never don't mind. have that many secrets. Brian. I've been asking people for years. Give I'm me the secrets. It's <laughs> Just visit my Facebook. <laughs> I'm going to open page. this book and find out. There's busy moms right there. Yeah. Find the secrets out the there. The secrets, okay. they're all there, and there's okay. stories too to tell you all my secrets. But <laughs> so you divide it in half, and you press half of it against the loaf pan. Okay. So you make a little, you know, well for all of your ingredients. A little tomato sauce, because this is an when Italian you say a little, one. nothing is ever a little when she does. Well, That's no, right? I don't know. That I don't know good. how to do things just a little. No. And then I have some nice fire-roasted diced tomatoes, so we're going to toss those on top of that. And I'm only using half of those. You know we've and moved up the tasting segment, so I get to taste this hour, oh, too. Oh, yay! Awesome. To find oh, there's got, a fork oh, here I ready. Oh, you did. You got it. <laughs> for you today, boy. Guess you did now. Last time I missed my mark, I'm not doing that You again. never miss it. No, no. So no. Parmesan, fantina, and mozzarella cheese. And that's it. We toss that in there. We take the other half of the meatloaf. Oh, that's where the other half comes that's in. That's it. Toss it down over. More. And I'm going to do this, like, the really super fast way. So we're gonna You're probably we're a very good masseuse, like too. Look right? at that way she's... And way prettier. Good job. And then you can top it with a little bit more sauce. I like that. A little more cheese, too, and maybe? And a little more cheese. Oh, there it is. You called okay. it. All right, so that's that. Pop it in the oven. Um, about long? an hour. About hour? an hour. Okay. Yeah, I do everything about an hour. Oh, and then now maybe you're throwing down when she takes the gloves off. That's <laughs> it. The gloves right. are coming off. Okay. Let's so see what now, you got. Let's see what it looks oh, that, like. If that's what it comes out looking like... And I just Where lost my half fork? my cheese, but that's like. Did you bring a plate work. like I was going to eat it out of a plate? <laughs> no, I'm going to try to get it out of this oh, okay. little thing on my TV. I was going to scoop it right out of there. So this is this is, and it's going to get all that's over. Okay. But that's we've okay. We've got we got paper good. towels. Messy is good. There it is. All right. I'll so sit here it right it there. Is. Look at that. And let's get this out of our way so you can I'm see. I'm assuming what you're that planning to slice it too, but you don't need to with me. Center looks like. Oh, is that where you go? Yeah, we're just going to go fresh out of the oven. In the center, so you can get a nice. Look there. That is spectacular. Up the middle. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Patrick's on our camera. He's got that nailed down. He must be <laughs> hungry. Look at that. Does he have the shot there? Yeah, it's Good. absolutely spectacular. Good. Look at and that. And I made a huge mess, but I will clean it up. Uh, will you? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have to. No. <laughs> I guess I should do the dishes. That was the way it worked in my house. Mom would cook, and yeah. let's just say there was enough boys around the house to do the dishes. So. So all this on Farm to Table, fabulous.com, ronrittersfarmmarket.com. Mm -hmm. I have a blog. I'm trying to post three new recipes a week uh, for busy families. And come over to the farm. It's Yeah, really, October. visit Ritter's Farm, too. And if you can taste any of this like I have, it's spectacular. Thank uh, you so much. Thank Kim you. Ritter, Thanks pick for up this wonderful me. book, Busy Moms. Even if you're a busy dad, pick that up.